Hi everybody, welcome to the Fiber Friends Knitting Podcast. I'm Louise from Wild Flower Wall. Hi everybody, I'm Cheryl from My Needle Crafts. We have a new challenge starting this weekend. We do, today. It, today it starts. I'm Because it's set. Friday. It is. It's Friday today, you guys are seeing this tomorrow, so hopefully everybody's got started Friday night on their new craft. New to you, new to you, new that you haven't done in a while. <laughs> say that. So something that you've always wanted to do and haven't done it, this is your weekend to YouTube it, run to your craft store, pick up some supplies and give it a go. Mm -hmm. And it's not that you have to make something, you know, if you're going, going to spin or you're going to Tunisian crochet or a tat or something, you don't have to make a huge project like yeah. an afghan. It's you not can, about finishes. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's not. It's about trying something. So you could make a coaster. You could just make a little sample. You could, because you may try it and not even like it. Yeah, for didn't sure. Ever, didn't even really contemplate that possibility, but that could happen. That's what happened with my needle crunch when I tried Yeah, it. that's right. You said you didn't like it last week. Yeah. yeah. So what are you going to, I see you've got some stuff pulled out. Is that for the new craft or is that no, just no, stuff you're going to show? No, no, I was just going to show. So what are you doing for your new craft? I don't know. Okay. It's a really busy week this week, so we'll see if I get to something, but yes, I'm cause, not Because sure. we, we're both going to a fiber festival next weekend. I'm yeah. teaching, and you're vending I'm with vending all your bags, so you're sewing yeah. like crazy. Yes. Well, I brought a lot of stuff. <clears throat> Good. Well, well, not a lot, because I thought I was going to save some for next week, because it's a 10-day challenge. It starts this weekend, and it runs right through till next Sunday, October 17th. Mm -hmm. I brought my spindle again just to show because I know I've said this a couple times but mm -hmm. I I want to try and do some spinning I had I had grand plans of, over the last few weeks I was going to play around doing some spinning and I hadn't so I'm counting this as something that I haven't really done a lot of I haven't done mm -hmm. any in the last couple of years until I did this little bit of blue not so long ago so I still have lots of this fleece it's Coradale I gotta feel it I don't, it feels really nice oh yeah that is nice yeah so I have got 50 grams, which is a lot, and it takes it takes a while to spin. <clears throat> so I don't know much about spinning. So this would, what you would call a single ply that's on here, right? Yes. So then you could spin more bobbins and then you put and them, then you ply get them, them together. plied together? Yep. Okay. So and is there you... a different machine or something you use to nope. do that? you can ply on here. Oh, okay. It's just, you spin it the opposite way. So when right. you spin this, you you spin it clockwise or counterclockwise. So when you're spinning, how do I spin it? I always spin it. I always spin it counterclockwise when I'm spinning. Yeah. So then I when I will say, ply it, it this way, not this way. <laughs> so when I ply it, I will spin it the opposite way oh, and ply okay. them together. That's cool. Yep. So I just I've got my fleece here. So fleece, you know when they talk about the staple length. I think yeah. this is a good example of how to describe that. So if you want, this is a good example. If you were going to use fleece to make thrummed mitts, you never want to cut the fibers. That's no. always bad. You always want to pull it. Pull it in. But you have to, you can't, see if you, if you put your fingers really close together and you try to pull it apart, mm -hmm. it doesn't pull because you haven't gotten past the staple length. Mm -hmm. So if you put your hand down here. And you just gently pull it. And the staple is the length of the actual hair, the length right? Of, yeah. <clears throat> so you just so with something like this you've got to pre-draft it I don't know all the terms because mm -hmm. I'm just a beginner spinner but it's something like this and this is too thick to spin so I just split it in half oh well look at that it just pulls right it just apart. pulls and then you just start lengthening this out and then you get your spindle going and you just start drafting this on your spindle that's cool it's very fun very relaxing so I'm going to try to practice on this. Somebody, I don't know if, did you mention, or somebody mentioned to me that I should do, you know, every day, because we've got 10 days, every day take an hour or two and work on something different. That's a lot of time in a day. It is. I don't know if I, <laughs> but I, I kind of like that idea, playing around with a few things. I don't know, if, during the week I'm really busy, so I don't know if that's mm. that. I will get 10 different crafts done, but I do want to play around a little bit. And spin gonna, a little bit. I'm gonna pull out my paper piecing that we uh, yeah we showed we last talked week. about last week because there's that one little charm pack and I think I, even if I can sit for a little while and baste up some just new just do a little yeah 
some new, um, just kind of fun, just something different. Hexies. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's cool. You Every, showed me this when you bought it two years ago, but I don't know what you do with it. So. Well, I've kind of forgotten too. But you do, <laughs> I'm going to have to search Did, it, to search did it come with instructions? It did weave, not. Weave it. It's a weave it. Now, I have actually have a couple of these at home and one of them does have instructions I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to YouTube it and watch some videos so there's the little hook there's an eye on the end of it here so you you warp it like you wrap it around top and bottom and then you oh, so, I shouldn't say that so do you go back and forth like this yeah. and leave it on the pins I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. And then you probably do something this yeah. way after, right? And you Is use that a... you use that hook, this this needle. Oh, okay. To go That's through like a big and you're darning go, needle. Yep. You'll go over and under, over and so under. So you'll and back. make little squares that are this size. They come out, yeah, two inch squares is what that makes. Oh. Yes. And then you can sew them all together. Sure. Yes. Because you'll sew them together. Yes. You'll just make a whole bunch of squares and say, look what I did. You can make a coaster. Four squares and make a coaster. Absolutely you could. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to go back. When I bought it, I videotaped the lady. She gave me gave me a little tutorial on how to do it. And then I'll probably just look up some other videos too and get the idea. Of... It's kind of neat when you look at it because there's space so that there's three and there's, three yeah. like on each side. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting. So if anybody has any tips, if you've used this before. I'm sure there's a YouTube video somewhere I'm sure that does this. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot. I'm sure I will have lots to pick from. But I'm actually going to use this. I've had this for a couple of years now, and I have not used it. So it is on, on the list. Just to play around with. I also, what else did I pull up? Oh, this is what I'm really wanting to do. Oh, hello, Gilly. <laughs> oh, oh, no, there it is. Hair, hairpin lace. Oh. I found, I don't, I, I'm sure I have a bunch of these looms somewhere, but I found this one. What is it, I think there was one in my grandma's yeah. stuff. Yes, and that's what I feel like it was uh, a grandma, not a grandma thing, but that time frame from... Yeah. A few years ago. A few. But a, few <laughs> a few. I can't say if I know anybody who has currently done any hairpin lace. I don't know if I've done known anybody who's ever made hairpin lace. I've never seen it done. Well, if you look on Pinterest and you look up hairpin lace patterns, there are some beautiful shawls. I think you can do shawls, afghans, wraps. I don't know. I'm assuming, I guess you could probably do sweaters, make make the panels, and then join them. I pulled it. I found this. I don't know how old oh, this go. is. Yeah, that's probably from like the 70s, I'm yeah. going to bet. And so it's got some instructions on here, and it says for Afghans and stoles. Mm -hmm. I watched a couple of videos. Oh, it says crochet loom. Hairpin lace crochet loom. Yes, because this is it is crocheting. Mm -hmm. You are crocheting. Well, that makes sense because my grandma did a lot of crocheting. Yes, well, and knitting. Well, but she made a lot of afghans. Because I always think of it as hairpin lace as like a lace technique. Well, then when I was looking up on Pinterest, it I came up with all these beautiful lacy shawls, and I looked at it and I'm like, that's that looks like crochet. And then it is because it's, it is, it mm -hmm. is crochet just on the loom. So I brought a crochet hook with me. If I can find, there it is. I've watched a couple videos, so I feel like I have the gist. I'm probably going to have to watch a few more. And they were all talking. So you take your yarn, you, I, I think I watched two videos and both of them started off things differently. So guess that just goes to show, right? You just find what, watch a few and see which way you mm -hmm. like. They both, I think they had newer looms because their little pieces at the top here 
instead of having holes, like this just slides on and off, theirs was like a clip. So you could put oh. it around and then it snapped in place. Oh. One lady, she started hers and she just did a regular slip knot and then slid it over the post. Another lady had both of her plastic pieces already on and then you laid the thread underneath the posts and then brought it up and did kind of a knot around it and pulled the tail through. And you start with the knot in the center. So normally, you know, if you make a slip knot, you snug it up so it's right snug on your hook or your knitting needle. And your first thought would be you would snug it up so it would be right close to the post. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. So this looks like they've started it with a slip knot on one of the... On one of the posts? Yeah. So then what you do is you mm -hmm. just, it's making single crochets. I'm sure there's probably different patterns, but once yeah, there's you... There's all kinds of things you can make. Like yes. I just did a Google search for images and um, some of the stuff is really cool. I know. It's very... <clears throat> um, like, yeah, like scarf. I'm not, you know, saying I'm going to do a scarf or anything, but yes. Yeah, so this one, oh, right there. Mm -hmm. That's how it starts. So that center. Gilly's excited too. <laughs> I'm ex I know this makes me happy too. Shh. <laughs> so that center spine, you can see that column of stitches, is just a row of single crochets. So I'm going to see. Find my end somewhere in here. All right. Just when I want to find the end quick. It does not look hard. It doesn't look hard. You just you you turn the loom, you make you make a stitch, then you flip your crochet hook kind of under your stitches to the back and you turn the loom. So you're it looks like you're always making stitches on the left hand post. That's what, or maybe it depends on the way you turn it. <clears throat> so let's just make, I'm just gonna make a quick slip knot. Let's see. <laughs> Stuff sliding out everywhere. Oh my gosh. All right, put this on. Well, somebody said they use it so they took, like they have it sitting on their, their chest or their stomach so it kind of holds it. We'll see. Slip knot. I think she did it on this one. I don't want to very keep, tight. Yeah, yeah. you got to keep it in the center. Because you have to be able to get your uh, crochet hook in it. Now, the one girl who <clears throat> had both of her plastic pieces on, hmm, this one doesn't really have it. She said you can use, you, use your top piece where the holes are. You can use that as a guide to where the center is. I guess in this one, it would be where there is not holes is the center. Hmm. She was using that kind of as a guide. Let's see. And this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna play with it and see what I can come up with. Just get the, the hang of doing, making the stitch and turning it. I don't know if this one's gonna stay together. Bought the it's gonna keep wanting to fall out. Mm. Oh, it does want to come apart. It does want to come it? apart. I think I, I just have to <clears throat> hold down here. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. I don't know. Okay, the whole I the gist of it is is once you get you get kind of you get a loop here. And then you're putting your, your hook through and you're grabbing the yarn. I have a feeling I'm doing this from the wrong side. No. Okay, this is not <laughs> this one's not gonna stay together to hold it up and show. It is not cooperating. It's not cooperating. Anyways. Um 
I'll see how I, I make it. I think the one that I that my grandma has, I don't even know that it has a top and bottom thing. I think it was just um like just uh, a I guess I guess yeah. solid square piece. Yeah. I have to mm. find it. Well, I'm assuming that this has got the different holes so you can make make the different widths. Yeah, make yeah, different for sure. right? Which is handy. Mhm. Mm if it would stay together. All right. Maybe it needs to be further apart to or did you try Anything. that already? That might be good. That might do the trick. But yeah, it's like almost like it gets to a certain way and it yeah, wants it's just, to just wants to follow it. Anyways, it's not that hard. Maybe next I'll I'll perfect it and next week when we podcast. You need some little rubber bands to put around the bottom. Something to hold it to snug. Yeah. I think the, one, the way the one girl was talking, she was talking about holding it with your pinky finger, so you're kind of holding the posts and the yarn with your left hand, yeah. and well, then your hooks. You hold these together. Yeah, too. keep them; they stay together. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be uh, an adventure. You have because, to watch a video. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to <clears> just <throat> play with it because this is something I have not ever done. Always been intrigued by it, so we'll see. Stay tuned. Next week, hopefully I'll come back with something and a little review of if I'm going to keep doing it. Will I not do it? Has it stroked off my bucket list? I've done it once, <laughs> never again. Maybe I'll love it and well, be I, making a queen size afghan by next week. You well, I'm one know. of those people that if it kept falling apart and I couldn't even get it started, I'd probably <laughs> throw <laughs> it and be done. <laughs> I think funny. it's different though. I think mm -hmm. if you had it, because the one girl said like she just puts the ends on her on her stomach or whatever mm -hmm. so then you can kind of hold it so when you're trying to do it upright it's maybe yeah just awkward like most we'll things go with that until you get used to it it's probably just we'll give it the job. benefit of the doubt right we don't <clears throat> want to um veto it right off the bat okay look at this I'm what excited. else do you have I'm louise excited. she's got a whole box here so i, I got nothing box. i got nothing it's all right <laughs> This. Oh, this is a bobbin shuttle. Sh so tatting. it is my tatting box. There you go. I do have one of these somewhere too. That was my grandma's. Yeah. It's a metal one, hers. Yes. And I think it's I've got old. a bunch of things. So I've got some shuttle shuttles for shuttle tatting. I've not done this. Hmm. Like 10 years easily, probably. Is this the same as crocheting or not? Oh, no. Okay. No. Harder. It's harder than crocheting? <sighs> okay, what do you guys say about you tatters out there? Yes. Yes. Shuttle tatting, it, it is all about the feel. And I always compare it to driving a standard. You drive a standard, yep. don't you? Okay. Yep. So you know when you drive a standard, you've got to get the gas and the clutch. Yep. going right or you stall it shuttle tatting is the same thing you have you've got two threads and as you're making your stitch you have to tighten one thread and loosen off another one as you're tightening it because you want to tighten the knot and you still want it to move there's a thread and with your stitch around it and when this tightens you still want it to slide you don't want it to knot <laughs> seriously you guys Okay, we're going to cut that out. <laughs> oh, no, you totally shouldn't <laughs> cut it out. Because you'll just make everybody laugh. Oh, that was geez. a good one. But I get it. Yes, I was trying not we're to crafting. laugh. crafting. Crafting. Anyways, you but, want it to <clears throat> move. You want it to move. You don't want it to lock on the thread. Because if you so do that. So I can that, see what you're talking about. Because I'm going to try and pull this out of your box. Because, you know, I'll just I get right it. in here in your stuff. Yeah, pull it all up. I am not a very good tatter. I can understand that there, beneath all these stitches, there is a string. There right? is a there is a ring, and yeah. everything should move around the ring. Yeah, that makes sense. If it doesn't, you've actually made these look a fun. knot. Yeah, and I have all I have done. I I'm very very limited with my tatting. Is I think I've made a butterfly. And some flowers. I don't know how these two on this end got upside down. Oh, that's probably called a mistake. I 
<laughs> these all have little loops. All these little loops on the top. Yeah. And then you get down to here and the loops are on the bottom. I'm like, oh, what happened there? <laughs> I think I flipped it around. Well, that's okay. There's like my little flower. But all mm. of this is done with needle tatting. Because shuttle tatting is on my bucket list. I want to accomplish. I want to get. I haven't really got. Is this this is a shuttle? This right? is the shuttle. Okay. And so and I can't. I'm like really seriously gonna have to do some refresher on this because how you hold it and then your shuttle goes under and over and then it's that there's a couple different movements and then you tighten it. I have not perfected it. I feel like I am, I am this close to either quitting or getting it down pat, right? At one point I was, I, I was done. I thought I cannot get the hang of this shuttle tatting and I was ready to quit. My friend and I went to the creative festival in Toronto and they had a class on needle tatting. So that was my last ditch. Yep. So these look like big, long, I can't open it. Yep, look, here, there's a, this is one. They look like big darning needles with yep, a just, doll end. Just exactly, almost like the one for the, the little weave it loom. Yeah. So this was my last ditch effort before I totally threw the towel in on tatting. Look how small this one is. Yep. I don't even think you can see that little hole in the end. There's a see, and there, there again, everybody typically wants the small ones so you can do really tiny, fine stuff. Yeah. As soon as I found out that there was big ones, I'm like, I want the big ones. And I that's want to what do you big. would do like with this weight. Yes, heavier. So this would be almost with thread. Yes. And I've got ones that are, yeah, that you can use with wool. So they, on the tubes here, they tell, they've got different threads and weights on them. And I have a couple books. So needle tatting is what saved my tatting um, from, you know, never being pulled out again. These are so cute. Because I can do needle tatting because you don't have to ha do that whole flipping the knot. Or you got two upside down again. No. <laughs> well, okay. So <laughs> I haven't perfected it. Must, it. <laughs> it must be a thing. I'm making my own design. That's cute. But it was fun and I liked doing it. But now I have completely, I forgot. I, I just literally found that I found this box. <clears throat> so where's this just little butterfly this thing you said you made? Oh, in here. So yes. I'm just curious as to like, what do you do after you do this and you have all these little ends hanging out and stuff like. I think you just weave them back in, you know, just like as if it was like, like on the, the crocheted snowflake, you would just. Oh, kind of okay. Back through. I understand. Okay. Oh, look at that. So wow. This, I don't know if this is supposed to have been a butterfly. Maybe. Well, it looks like a butterfly. It kind of looks like two little wings and two. Yep. And then these are your picos. And you make those. There's this little tool because those are just, those are just spaces. Yeah. And then or it's when you tighten it up, of... it le and then it makes a loop. And so you can use this little tool so you get uh, all your spaces even. So they don't be exactly the same. Yep. That's very cool. So I can do it, but as of this moment, I have absolutely no idea how I did it. I'm going to have to find my books. And yeah, that's uh, all right. But yep, yeah, there's, so there's all different sizes. Well, that would be fun to try. Yes, See, this, I'm excited to this try this again. This interests me a whole lot more than anything else so far. Yeah? Ooh, that's good. Well, I could look at this you. little wee thing. It's fun. And I I was just happy to make flowers because, of course, oh, you can do... another little wee one. Like tatting, right? You could do bookmarks or you could do do doilies, right? You always think of tatted doilies. And I have some. My great-grandmother was a tatter and a crocheter. Oh, nice. And when I got married... At some <laughs> point in the past. 19, 1990 was when I got married the first time. And she tatted me table, like dresser scarves. Oh, and, nice. And doilies. Mm -hmm. And she crocheted some and she also tatted me some. They're really, really gorgeous. And now that I've tried to tat, you can appreciate how oh, much work how much work it. went into it mm -hmm. so 
Maybe I'll make some more flowers. I don't know. This is cute. Yeah, they're fun anyways, needle tatting. There you go. It's always fun to, you know, mental health and keeping your brain going. Always good to learn new things. It is. And I really want to try it. So I'd love to know if there's any tatters out there. Have you tried it? Did you even know needle tat? You didn't know needle tatting existed? Oh, yes, I you did. You did know? Oh, okay. yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. So there. that's my tip. If you're frustrated with shuttle tatting, try needle tatting. I think there might be some limitations. You might not be able to. Like, there's some where you can, you can shuttle tat with two shuttles. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you can do that with needle tatting, but... I'm not there. I'm just happy if I can do little flowers. Yeah, for sure. I am, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to play yeah. with that. Did I bring that looks else? fun. I found this in one of my craft oh, drawers now. too. Have you played with that? Oh, no, that's not what I thought Not what it you was. thought? What did you think it was? I have a needle felting kit that's from Clover that looks like yes. a very similar package. They're down in... In the, in the cupboard. I found my needle punch, <clears throat> but I didn't find anything else. So I, um, yeah, I didn't bring all that. I thought I had to save some of the stuff for next podcast. Mm -hmm. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I would, I really would like to learn to needle felt. I really would. My, uh, I have a friend that does it mm -hmm. and, you know, before COVID we had, I had talked about, you know, getting her to show me cause I'm a hands-on. I need somebody like with me and show me how to, to do it. And uh, we just haven't got there, but I do have a few things, but I have no, uh, I need to get some wool. Get, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. my, my tip, if you're anybody's gonna needle felt, watch your fingers. Don't poke your finger. Oh, I'm okay with that. When I used to make dolls, I used to oh, geez. Used to do the hair with yeah. with felting needles, so. Cause, they're, Cause they are, they're sharp. They're very they're long and, and they have sharp. barbs on them. And yes. that's what grabs the fiber as you pull it in those barbs. Yes. Pull them and in. so as you're holding as I made a a robin, it was a bird. There was a couple of us went camping a few summers ago and we bought needle felting kits. So that was something that we did. It rained one afternoon. So we were sitting in the trailer and we were needle felting this mm -hmm. bird. And yeah, you gotta be careful that you don't poke your finger. You don't want to. No, they're very short. Don't want to do that. So look at this. So I have this. I haven't even taken this out. And it's a flower bloom. But it kind of looks like the hairpin lace kind of it thing. Has, where you have uh, all the loops around it. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of that. So it's kind of like a weaving, looming. I don't know. But I've never played with it. So maybe I will do that too. Because look at the flower you can make. Yeah, they're cool. It's kind of cute. I have no idea what I would That's very do with cool. it. But I just want I just well, want you to can make, make them with flowers. ribbon too. Oh, oh my gosh! I have do, a, I have a whole stash of ribbon. So like do narrow with ribbon. ribbon. Yeah, that looks like quarter inch, maybe three eighths inch or bigger. <gasps> oh my gosh! You can just put them all kinds of things. I can do. Louise is excited now. I. Oh look, you can make a scarf. It's a crocheted need... scarf. I'm guessing you do the flower and then you would pick up the tips of the the flower, the flower, and crochet, crochet like around into it. them. Yeah. I know. So wow, look at many that. possibilities. Yeah, it's like weaving. I know, fun, right? Oh yeah. See, and you talked about mental health, right? Like all of this is so because you can just feel it's like, oh, this is gonna be fun. I can just see myself even taking, well, I don't know, it might take me two hours to figure out what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But spend an afternoon and just play with something, right? Go to Michael's. It helps scare off the dementia for when we get older because we <sighs> use those brain Exactly. Cells You're firing to, different that's right. But even just in the moment to make happiness, right? Just to be like, oh, I'm making something new. And even if you make a flower and you're like, well, what do I do with it? I don't know. At least you've made a flower in an afternoon. It's, you're, it's exciting, right? I like it. Did I bring anything else? 
All the kids are coming home for lunch. Lunch time. <laughs> I brought the oh, Halloween, Halloween cross stitch magazine, and I pulled out some. Oh, she has some Ada cloth. Some gray Ada. Now tell me, I want this to work. I know it. I'm hoping it work. will. I want to stitch the black cat on here. Which black cat? <laughs> Which black cat? <laughs> There's Gilly's getting giving kisses. <laughs> She's laughing at her lighting setup because it's like the worst gray rainy day out there. We had to bring in some extra lighting. <laughs> we are recording just so you know. I know. <laughs> so Might as well come say hi. Poke your head around. It's my children. Oh, we got another one. These coming. are future knitters, crocheters. No, <laughs> never say never. Okay, thank you. Bye. I I'm really not a future knitter. Jordan's a knitter. She knows she how. She did, and she did. She handed that whole blanket in record time. Adrian, so, yes. She... Ad Adrian, yes. Yeah. So. That's all right. They're teenagers. Are you going to do the what same black doing? hat that I do? Well, that is what I bought the magazine for, was this angry cat. Yeah. I really like him. It was more time consuming than I thought it would be because it's quite a bit of stitching. There was a lot of stitching. And that's what I thought. And this then I cute. thought, this one is not quite as much stitching. No. This one here is cute too. And that's a great so, background on this side. Yes. And so when I pulled out... You want to try to respect copyright here and not yeah. show charts. But I know, isn't that cute? Well, look at his tail. Yeah. <laughs> and the pumpkins. And yeah, that is on the gray. Okay, because yeah. because you know, right, you always have to have contrast. And I, I pulled out the gray and I thought, oh, I would really like to do a black cat. Well, on this here one's on gray sort. too. Okay, this one the down pumpkins. here with the pumpkins. Now, that's a lot of stitching to do at all, but you could do one. You could do the cat. I could just, just do the that. cat. Yeah. I just want something a little that I can just set up with my Halloween decorations. I'm not sure. thinking I want something big I'm going to frame it and put it on the wall. Uh -huh. I just want to do a little ornament and finish. I have no idea how to finish it. Oh, well, I can help you okay. with that. Good. But there, is, uh, there definitely is uh, quite a bit of stitching in that. Um, the angry cat. The angry cat. It took That's a little longer thought. than I thought it would. So I thought maybe that won't be the one for the challenge because I'd like something that I could just kind of stitch in a weekend something mm -hmm. so maybe just one black cat I even thought about doing just a couple of cats on the broom I don't know just kind of mixing up something and coming up with my own thing mm -hmm. just to do, sure. get just to do something little oh yeah you can always take just a little piece of something out of mm -hmm. any of them and just stitch that one little part yeah, I do like that tree too yeah so there's there's lots so is that I'm... all you're gonna do <laughs> this week challenge stuff oh there's more i have a weaving loom in my car right now oh cool and what else did i there is oh yeah there's a few things and other people they've been posting people have been posting in the facebook group i saw um, red cooking. Did you see? Oh, sh Sally. I think it was maybe Sally did a red hook. I think it was a. I'm not sure if it was a pillow or just a smaller red hook, like a latch hooking oh, project. Yeah. That I didn't see it. Finished. I haven't been on much. Um, some people mm. have been talking. There's somebody else mentioned they wanted to do some tatting. There was some black work. A few people were saying they were going to do cross stitching. Mm -hmm. Karen, I think it was Karen ordered a drop spindle and it yeah. arrived. I saw that. Yes. So she's going to spin. It's going to be fun. See, whatever. There was a couple people said they were going to do sewing. Mm -hmm. Some I know somebody else was interested in paper piecing, English paper piecing. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, I might have to grab that one evening because when you're tired, you know, it's really... Sitting and basting the fabric onto the little paper forms is my favorite part too. I could sit I and it. just baste like a hundred of them. So could I. Not so, so could together. I. And you know, when we were when <clears throat> we were together, because sometimes I take it to the cottage with me. And so my sister in law, she just loves cutting out the hexes. Oh really? Getting a piece of because I don't because I don't get the charm pack. Yeah. So I just get the the pack quarters, yeah. and she just loves taking the. Um, template tracing around it and just cutting 
Oh, and that cutting. would be my least favorite part. I, I know, it's my least favorite part. So I'm so lazy that I tried to figure out a way that I could machine sew them together after I basted them. Okay, the whole, <laughs> <laughs> the whole point of this is the hand sewing. The slow, the rhythmic. <clears throat> Yeah. And you want to get your machine out there and just zoom it well, through. Because yeah, I want the thing done. <laughs> See, and I don't. I just want to make them. I just but want I can to sit sew. and cross stitch for hours. Yeah. Cross and that's stitch. funny, It doesn't right? go fast enough either. I wish, it, I wish I was a faster stitcher. Oh, well. So it's speaking, nothing about speaking speed. Speaking of stitching, can I show mine? Yeah. Because I brought it. I yeah. brought some this week. Because you're working on your Halloween mm. one, aren't you? So we talked about... Um, that I was going to start this one here. Yes. And this is by Autumn Rain Stitchery. It's their uh, Moons Out, Brooms Out. It's uh, one of their brand new um, releases for this year. That's so nice. I got it out and I started. And this is what I have done. And this is on your dyed fabric, isn't it? This is my dyed fabric. So this is the girl's dress. The girl's dress and then the broom the I've broom. been working on. I like your so, colors. I like the color of the broom and I like that shade of green. It uh, I, it just stands out so nicely. So it's funny because the camera picks this contrast up and it's not near as contrasty. See, and you said that last time and I think it's pretty close. Do you think so? I it think so. It seems brighter to me. I don't know. I think it's pretty close. Yeah, but I love this. Yeah, yep. that's gorgeous. It's not much, but it's uh, it's a start. And uh, I had been working on my modern folk embroidery uh, stitch along, and I got all of uh, all of July and part of August done, and then I put it away because I wanted to start on the uh, <clears throat> the October one, but. This is what I've got done of this part so far. So That's there's, like a gorgeous design. there was options to put a house in here and he gave um, charts for like about six different things you could pick. And oh, I'm going to really? do the bird house with birds. So oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. And this is completely filled in here, sort of like this. So it'll be a lot of heavy stitching, but I just love it. Look at those squirrels. They're so cute. So. I like that. I that's, really like that's that. That's my update from the last time. I showed it quite a while ago. So that that is called uh, uh, A Fruit of Plenty by Modern Folk Embroidery. Mm. And it's the 2021 stitch model. Nice. Why are you looking at so me is, like that? Do you want some more <laughs> <laughs> I bought a little snack and they're eating it all. <laughs> Do you want us to leave it's you fine. any? <laughs> are you sure? No, it's fine. I love you. Yes, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <Kids>. so, <laughs> so I worked on that for a little bit and then I put it away. So is there going to be a 2022 stitch along? Oh, yes. They're already talking about... Have they, uh, they shown little sneak peeks about what yet, it is? Not yet, but apparently the chart's soon to be ready. So Ooh. I don't know if it's going to... Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. What else do you have here? So... <clears throat> I don't know if you remember last week I showed you all these little, uh, my new little emotions yes. pouches that I was making. And uh, we were talking about those, all the flowers I had crocheted and I yes. said about putting them on bags and whatnot. And my friend Debbie, who uh, crocheted my beautiful shawl I was wearing last yes. week, uh, she said, do you want me to crochet you some little things to put on some bags? And I'm like, sure, if you want so she uh she just surprised, these eggs? yeah she surprised me got her son to drop them off the one day and she's made all crocheted all these little look at this sunflower that is so pretty and a little poppy oh wow. and these are little they are little and we were doing our snowflakes and she's like what about some snowflakes and these are all done in uh size 10 crochet cotton oh Gosh. So she made a bunch of little snowflakes. So sweet. And these are all for me to applique onto some bags. So I'm going to have to find some, you know, a nice blue fabric or something to. Is this, oh, are these all different? These 
They're These all different. different. Every single one. They're all different. I guess she has a book or something she was doing them in. Oh my goodness. And then she said, what about some uh, shamrocks? So she did some shamrocks. Look at her. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh. This just hurts my eyes thinking about it. The, these are the things that I like to do when I crochet. Yeah. Oh. But I stopped to make because they it hurts my wrist too much with my arthritis. So I gave I gave Debbie, I had a whole like big rubber made bin full of like a million colors of yes. size 10 cotton. Oh. So I had given it all to her. So she's like, I have tons of colors. I could make you some. It's just so pretty. Yeah, I love that. I am still in love with my big snowflake. I Jocelyn and I podcasted last night and I showed the big snowflakes again <clears throat> I'm like big I know every time big. I go back <laughs> mom and I were watching our podcast from last week when oh we yeah were showing those I'm like I have to make some of those I know I love like these little ones are cute Daffodil, but yeah. I don't think this is my cup of tea as far we're as not I'm making, making them no I want to make big stuff they're cute so what do you think should I uh yeah. should I make some bags and applique some snowflakes I, on they would be cute I think they'd be really cute mm -hmm. So you would just have a plain fabric, like you get yeah, a plain red and put plain. a white snowflake or something sure. on? I think that would be really cute. Yeah. Ooh, I think so. Everybody vote yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know. I think you should do it. So do she it. dropped those off. We'll just add them to the list because, you know. Yeah, no. You'll get to. Get <sighs> to. It's... One day I will get to well, it. It's been crazy trying to get ready for the show. My stepfather's been in the hospital no. for two, week, two weeks today. No. He went in the hospital. They couldn't figure out what was wrong. and Couldn't figure out what was wrong. He had back pain. And finally mm -hmm. they did, I don't know how many tests. And they got to doing the CT. And it came back. He had an aneurysm in his descending aorta. So it was really serious. They sent him in. He had surgery. And now he's kicking. He's like 80 years old. And... Feisty as heck. Got like a new lease on life. Yeah. Oh so, my goodness. He is so lucky. Yeah. So it's just been a crazy couple weeks and I've had to drive my mom to the hospital a couple times because she's burnt out from stress yes. and whatever. And, uh, yeah. But that's just, okay. So now I'm on the things. Gotta are, sew. On the up. Yes. Now I gotta sew. Now you gotta Seven sew. days. I can do it. <laughs> Countdown. Yes. Deadline working. We had talked about sweaters, about making October a sweater month for us. Do you remember that? I do. <laughs> Adrian remembers. Adrian remembers. Okay, so let's, you pulled out your, your, your well, is, you are going to pull this it This is my, I'm going to pull out sweater. Because seriously, like people, like, you got to see this. No word of it's ugly. It's no word of a lie. It's like big enough for three people. It, I'm not even gonna say anything about Gage. <laughs> you be quiet. I knew this was gonna happen because I didn't have the correct needle that I knew I should use. So it is beautiful. It did not take long. Like I rip, I had it all done up to here and I ripped it all back and redid this like in two nights. Like it was because that had moose. Yeah, there was there moose was some across it wasn't moose there. on it. And I decided I thought they look like poo poo. So. so you put the diamonds. Yeah. So you just repeat it. Because they were done like in Tarja, right? Like some of like this pattern you just put up here. That's right. Then, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. And it's nice. I really, oh, really I like love the it. pattern. Yeah. And it's going to be nice when it's done. It looks like there's a mistake there. <laughs> Oh, there is. Look at You've got an extra brown didn't, stitch there. I didn't see it until I held it up to the camera. I made a boo-boo. Oh. That center one should be one over. Should be white. It's a good thing I'm ripping it out now because, you know, I can't have that can't have in that. the back of my sweater. Oh, yeah. Now it just sticks out. As soon as you see it, it's like... <laughs> Oh, well, you could have just duplicate stitched over it. Like, I, really, right? If I, you were going to keep could've. it, you could have fixed yeah. it. But now, now does it make, just make you... Um, less you made, stressed about pulling it out? Well, you made me get it out so that now I want to make it again. Now well, that that's I'm looking kind at of the it. point. Well, it's fall. We're going to need to wear sweaters. After the another, Fleece Festival. I know. You're, Sweater. You're, yeah. Next week. Next, Next week. week. I bought my sweater. Mine. This I is pulled mine. Your, did you pull out your sleeve? 
No, not yet. I'm still, it's still here. But that's I'm okay. still, it's I'm still thinking. Much. I'm still thinking that maybe, maybe you could save it. I will like it and carry. I don't know. I should just go get a different needle. But see, you can see. Can you see? I can see. So the line yeah, right where when you put your hand under it, it does it, it changes. Yeah. So I'm gonna switch needle sizes. I just bothered me it? enough that I couldn't like it. Right in about here. Yep. It gets tighter. Yep. I need bigger needle size. Yep. You That's all up, I do. Just go up one. Yep. If you can rip out all of that shawl that you ripped out this week <laughs> to fix that little one, jig that jig one little, that's yep. on there, you can seriously pull out this much of I a know. sleeve and remit it's, it. It's not the pulling it. It's the finding the needle size. So That's what You can see what happened happen here. Yeah. I gotta find a spot where it's gonna you show can up. See. So it comes up and then it yeah just all pulls funny. Yep. So I just gotta pull it out, find another different needle, okay. and then do the sleeves. And then it's done. And yeah. I'm not even entirely sure I'm gonna like it when it's done. But why not? I don't know. Well, it's cropped, I think, and I don't think I like the length. Well, but you can wear. Um, I know Jocelyn was a trying longer to shirt underneath it. Trying to tell it me I would like it too. Jared will go with it a look cute. It'll I think it cute. will. I hope so. I'm the same way. I like something that comes right down, like almost yeah. to your, just above your crotch, yeah, right? Yeah, kind of under your butt. Well, you know, that's what happens when you get to our age and you feel like you're a little bit curvier than you want to be <laughs> and you want to hide certain things, but. We'll see. You can uh, style crop. Yeah. I've seen lots of, you know, women our age and whatnot that are, you know, can wear. I know. And it looks, it looks it nice looks on really other people. Good. I just don't like it on me. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you we'll see. We'll see. But that's not the whole, the whole idea of knitting the sweater is, you know, not to have something you like. <laughs> it's <laughs> just, just to just, get it done. Just knit it for the sake of it. That's <laughs> right. Get it done and move on to something else. <clears throat> We'll see. But because it was this whole thing was trying to see if I could get it done in two weeks. Yeah. Which didn't happen. But that was the needle's fault. Maybe if I'd had the needle, maybe I could have. And the only thing know. you have to do is the sleeves and is there a, There's a band. band? Yep. The body's the body's all knit. The back and the two fronts. And that's worsted weight? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's like, doable. You could finish that it's up like in a week. Knitting easy. eight pairs of socks. Oh. Right. No. no. Eight pairs of socks would take way longer. Wait. <laughs> no, that's a good way to kind of think about it though. Just like, well, no, because I'm just lining up like one sock length, yeah. two sock lengths for your arm. Different size of uh, yeah. different size of yarn and needles, so but you like got to count it by how it. many stitches that you would uh, knit. Yeah, don't count stitches. <laughs> Speaking of socks, yeah, I've got a sock to show you too. I got two socks to show you. What? You got both of them? No, no heels. Oh, no yet. heel. Okay, so almost. But I cast them off. Well, you could call them tube socks and say they're done. I if do. You really wanted to. I could. You, you cut a hole and you stick them in. <laughs> Pick up stitches and then you start yeah. knitting again. I like these. Mine yeah. has a heel. So my sister saw these when I was knitting them at my mom's the other night when I was finishing them off, and she goes, "Hey, I have a pair of socks just like that." I said, you do not. I never knit this colorway before. And she's like, yeah, I swear. The ones I have at home are the exact same yarn. So you think you've knit it before and then forgot? I knit these and gave them to her. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. So That's okay. I don't think it's the same yarn. I think it's just another color. Similar. Another shade of purple. Because yes. you knit. That's they your favorite color, color, right? Yeah, they'll be Croy. I so there'll be something similar. Your sock looks amazing. My sock is done. Sock number one. I just want to put that on my foot. I know. I want to wear it. I think it's sock number two done. So, Songbird Fibers. This was the one that we did our, on our little road trip. So you should have it done for next weekend. To oh, wear I to should, the, shouldn't I? To wear to, wear to the... Yes, to I Wolstock, should. Because it's October, you know. I know. Well, mm -hmm. I started. I started, started sock number two. So, it depends how much knitting I do this week. I might have to go visit Vicky. And buy some of this? Gosh, I, I already have like a million of... Oh, but it's so pretty. It's such a nice orange. Perfect. Nice. Perfect Halloween. I really should have it have had it done for this weekend for Thanksgiving. But oh yeah. Well that's not gonna happen. No. So maybe 
But you can knit them on Thanksgiving. I could knit them on Thanksgiving. You're right. That just, <laughs> that that's, works. That works. That makes me feel, yes, mm -hmm. like I haven't totally dropped the ball on my Thanksgiving knitwear. I can knit it instead of wear it. Yep. So that's, and then my shawl. I ripped, I did, I ripped out that shawl. This one, the shawl that I keep showing. I thought I could have almost had it done. Mm -hmm. What I ripped back and then re knit. Re if yeah. I, you know, so I knit that piece twice, I could have almost been finished. Mm -hmm. been yeah, really, we had a good really, look at this last week. Yeah, so I'm down to this much again. Oh, well, that's not bad at all. I that's know, it's teeny. getting small. And this part is getting big. And now it just seems to take forever to go across yeah. the row, I'm sure. So it's getting there. Look at that. It's getting there. That's long. I find now it's getting in my way as I'm knitting it. I've got this big, long tail. Looks so, good. It's getting there. Thought I could wear this next weekend too if I get it done. Yes, and Ooh, I yeah. talked to I talked to Debbie after we were talking about that last yes. week. That I uh, so I called her and we're all hanging at the same hotel. For Ooh, the show, so. oh, it'll be party time. It's gonna be fun. We so will be. <laughs> she'll probably be with us next Friday night when we do uh, yeah, we'll have Friday to see. Night Live. Yes, maybe mm. we can get her on live and we can chat. And well, I talked about a little knit night in our hotel room Fantastic. Friday night. So. Yes. Oh, party. Mm -hmm. You know, party. How knitters party. We'll be winding yarn. I remember staying in a hotel like years ago. We went to Toronto and there was four of us in the hotel. And... Some, one of the girls I was with, her husband said, like, oh, what are you doing on Friday night in Toronto? Like, he pictured us going to bars and whatever. And we're like, uh, <laughs> no, we were at the show today. We went to the show Friday. Friday night, we ate in a really nice restaurant for supper. And then we went right back to our hotel room. And none of us had brought a, a, a ball winder or a Swift. So we're all sitting on the, on the bed with our knees bent and the skein over our knees. And we're winding our yarn. <laughs> And that was our Friday night. Nice. You know? Yes. Well, you know, misery loves going. <laughs> so you have to wind it the hard way. You might as well do it together. When you want to cast on, <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, right? Oh, it'll be so much fun. Yeah, so next weekend will be fun. So I don't know how the podcast and everything, the podcast will probably go up later. On Sunday sometime. Yes. So maybe there'll be a little, some little clips of the show. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we'll have to do that. And, or put some, maybe just put some pictures mm -hmm. in. We'll do, we'll do something, some video clips, some still pictures. Well, we'll definitely do a little bit of video from my booth together because yes. we'll be hanging out. Yeah, that's going to be lots of fun. So if you're at the show, come and say hi to us. Mm -hmm. We're in the agricultural building. Okay. I think that's the middle one. There's the main I building, know. the exhibition excuse me, the main exhibition building and then there's the agricultural building and then there's another one further back. I've only seen like aerial view or something, okay. but I'm right in the middle. I've only been there once, I think, like, you know, ages and ages ago. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be exciting. And I was looking, I got an email with a floor plan with everybody that's in the same building and I think we actually have alpaca in our building this year. Oh, nice. Animals. Animals there. Oh, fun. Yeah, fun, fun. Uh, not uh, the last time we had Fleece Festival, were no animals, but I've done this show about five years now, and every year uh, in the building that I was in, the, it was one of the outdoor barns, and uh, we always had alpaca. Yeah. There was always, right beside my booth, was a pen of sheep. Yes. And they yes. used to try and steal stuff from our chairs <laughs> and whatever. They were really cute. And uh, the Angora bunnies, yeah. and yeah, there was always nice. uh, lots in our barn. And then the last year we did it two years ago, I guess they had changed stuff and they didn't want animals in that barn again. So, um, yeah, nice so when it, the animals it was kind are there, of a though. well, yeah, that you, gives it kind of a nice... people come in and you get to watch the kids, you know, enjoying seeing them. And it was, it was fun. It, it was. It became more of a family affair, not just, you know, knitters and crafters coming, you well, know, like some of the bigger fairs. This is the feel. Like, wool, wool stock, to me, is a little mini Rhinebeck. Exactly. With with yeah. the animals there and more Demonstrations. Fiber. Yes, different and, things yeah. going on. So it's not just like a knitting show mm -hmm. where it's all indoors and it's just booth after booth. It has the, yeah, all this, everything mm -hmm. else going on. Just gives it a little different feel. Yeah, it's nice. Yep. 
I love it. Oh, it's my I'm favorite. I'm so excited. We're going to get yeah. to see people. Fantastic. Yeah. Nice. Well, anything else? You need I'm, to get back to sewing. I'm just thinking. If do you have bags? Do you have bags? Do you have a couple bags there to show? No, the only thing I have is like a million notions coaches. Let's see them. She's got a yeah. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> they were all on the ironing board. Can I pull this one in? Oh, sure you can. Look at the fabric. Yeah, these are just my little regular notions pouches. I got a bunch of them here, so. Oh, I like really this. And just on the little tab, a little sheep. Yeah, I tried to pick a spot that looks cute, like a little. Yeah, paw print a little paw whatever, print. If I can. Oh, yeah. That's really cute. I like those special little details. I have a big bag like that. Okay. Yeah. Kitty on the end. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Oh, this is cactuses. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. I like this one. It's got strawberries and stuff on it. Yeah. Now, now I have to see what's all on the little tab. Yeah, birds. That's I like that one too. Mm -hmm. I've got a little a little notions bag and the frog print. Look at that. Flamingos. Flamingos. Oh, look at yeah. just a little eye looking at you. <laughs> Yeah, I finished them all up yesterday, and then now I'm making a few more of these uh, these little uh, bags, and then I'm on to knit night bags. Ooh, got to make the knit night bags. So Fun stuff. on the agenda for cut note today, so it'll be a sewing weekend. We're gonna have Thanksgiving dinner on Monday here in Canada. It's Thanksgiving mm -hmm. this Thanksgiving weekend. This so weekend. happy Thanksgiving to all our. Canadian yes. friends. Hopefully you've got lots of time <clears throat> crafting and good food. Yep. And Visiting family. with family if it's uh, safe to do so with our crappy yeah. pandemic world right now. <laughs> it's the world we're living <laughs> in. What else do you it's say just, about it? That's right. Yep. Hope everybody's staying safe. Mm -hmm. Well, have a good week. Happy yeah. sewing. You too. Happy knitting, everybody. Happy knitting. Happy knitting, happy, happy crafting, because everybody's got all these other fun stuff to do. So make sure you post lots of pictures. We want to see what you're working on, what you're trying. I want to know, uh, yeah, just how, how people like something. If you, even the good and the, and the bad, right? If you try something and you don't like it, post mm -hmm. a picture and just say, yep, yes. no. And don't forget, go post pictures in the Ravelry group so mm -hmm. we can draw some prize winners when the challenge is over. That's right. And uh, just a picture of what you tried. Yes. And it, yeah, it doesn't have to be a finished. Even if yeah. you just do a little bit of something, snap a picture, put it in Ravelry and say, I tried this. Yeah. I did it. I liked it. I didn't. I'm going to do more. Never again. Whatever. And if you're not a Ravelry user, you can post it in the Fiber Friends Facebook group and tag Louise and mm -hmm. she will count you for yep. the draw. I'll just put your name in the Ravelry thread and mm -hmm. and then and then you're in. Yep. -er. Well, have fun everybody. Yeah. Give our video a thumbs up. It helps uh, more people find us on yes. YouTube. And we should have said welcome to all of our new subscribers. Yes. Welcome. It's nice to have new people <laughs> join us. All right everybody, have a great week and we will see you next weekend from the Fiber Festival. Yeah. Bye. Bye everybody.